Using Link to Windows, I can view and respond to my notifications. I can mirror my phone. I can type from my laptop keyboard on my phone. I can copy content and paste on another device. I can control music playback and even receive and make phone calls. And all of this without even touching my phone once. And you too can do all of this. And all you really need is a Windows 10 based computer or a laptop and your Android phone. Make sure they both have your phone app installed and they're linked using the same Microsoft ID. That's it. But let me show everything that this can do for you. Starting with viewing and responding to notifications. So let's say I've got a couple of notifications as you can see. And at the end you see connected to your PC. That's exactly what I've done with Link to Windows. My phone is on my PC and I can access all my notifications just by tapping on it and everything is right here up in front of me. And I can respond to them uh, as in when I wish to. So let's say here's a notification from Gmail, which I wish to reply. And as I hit reply, it just opens up a mirror of Gmail and I can use my keyboard on the laptop or my PC to quickly type out a response and send. I can perform quick actions pretty easily. I can also respond to specific WhatsApp messages by just typing in here and hitting send. And I get all notifications as badges on my PC. And these are notifications you have full control over. You can customize what kind of notifications you wish to receive on your laptop or your PC and from which applications should those notifications be visible from. There's also a dedicated tab for just messages, you know, SMS, if you still use it, that is. And you can view all of them over here. You can respond to them. You can see the entire thread and you can even start a new thread or a new message. But let's face it, more and more of our smartphone use is actually about WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger and Instagram DMs and all of that, right? So for that, you can actually mirror your phone on your computer. So within the Your Phone app, you can go to Apps tab and it will list all the applications you've got installed. And you can then just tap on them and you can open them up as individual window screens on your laptop or your PC. And you can literally open as many apps as you want and you can work on them simultaneously all without touching your phone or picking your phone up. So let's say I wanna open Play Store, I could go ahead and open Notion, I could open Google, and then I can use them exactly the way I would on my phone. And if my laptop screen is touch enabled, I can use it exactly, uh, you know, I can interact the same way I would on my phone with touch. And I can, you know, simultaneously use all of these apps. And I can use the keyboard of my laptop or my desktop to type, which is really fast. And with this, I can easily transfer files, which is so cool. So let's say I've got my file on the PC. I just drag it and drop it on my phone's screen and the transfer happens just like that. I can do it the other way around as well. So I can take a file from my phone and drop it on my desktop or my you know, laptop and it's done. Now, one of the coolest things that you can do with the Your Phone app is to make and receive phone calls without ever picking up your phone, all of that from your laptop. It's amazing. So let's say I see my phone ringing and I can just see it on my computer screen. I can answer the phone or I can decline. And it's pretty easy to set up. Just go into calls, click on setup, uh, some permissions that you know your phone would have to allow. And once that's done, you'll get this interface right in front of you. You can also access your call history. So you'll have to give, again, a permission would be sent to your phone. You say allow, and then you know the your phone app will list down all the call listings that you have on your phone. And you can also make phone calls from your computer now via your phone, but without actually being around your phone. So you never have to move from your desk. And I think that is great. The next thing you can do is browse your photo gallery up to 2000 images. And you can also seamlessly copy paste from your phone onto your computer. So let's say you've got all your photos over here, just drag and drop it onto your, you know, wherever in your Windows machine and it's gonna work. You can also drop it on your PowerPoint presentations or Google Slides and it's just gonna work <laughs> that seamlessly. It's amazing. And one of the most handy utilities of the Your Phone app is to be able to copy something from your computer and then just paste it on your phone. So whatever you copy from your computer gets automatically stored in your phone's clipboard and you can just paste it. It's amazing. This setting may need to be turned on. So if you go into your Your Phone app, go into features and you would have to enable cross device copy and paste. So just turn that on. Next, if you see here, there are no music controls, right? But let's say you start listening to YouTube music or Spotify or anything that you use for media playback, you will see music controls come right up. So let's say your phone's connected to your speakers and you want to control music, play, pause, next track. You can do all of that from your computer.
Now, for all of this to work, you must have your phone on your Windows 10 computer and you should have your phone companion on your Android phone. Then you just have to connect the two, make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network and signed in on both the devices using the same Microsoft ID. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And then there are different ways to pair. You can pair with QR code scan, you can pair manually. And if you've got a Samsung phone, there's something called as link to Windows that's built in. This is also true for Google Pixel devices. And then you can just add a computer and make sure it's signed in using the right Microsoft ID. Now, it's not like there aren't standalone apps, individual apps that can do one or some of these, but your phone app, it just does all of this. It does for free. And the integration between Android and Windows is so seamless, it works really well. Now, the option to connect to an iPhone is there, like to an Apple phone, but the functionalities are really limited because, you know, iOS is just very restrictive in terms of opening up to other platforms. So it's almost good for nothing for iPhones. But for Android, I think this is a must have. If you do spend a lot of your time on your computer and you don't want to constantly pick up your phone for every small thing. All right, that's it, guys, on link to Windows and your phone and everything that I wanted to talk about. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And as always, guys, if you really enjoyed this video, if this was really useful, make sure you hit the thumbs up icon. Please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all so you do get notified I put up a video like this. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.